Hey everyone, Trina here. Today we're going to be working on the jelly plate and we're going to use some Stress Oxide inks and we're going to be printing on matte photo paper. This is the uh, 60 pound polar matte from Red River that I got in a sample pack. So you'll see, we're going to print on the other side, but I wanted to show you. We put down some ink. I'm going to let that dry. And you'll see that there's no lifting when you use a wet brush. It doesn't come up. So that's kind of a neat aspect of this matte paper. So let's get started. I'm going to come in with a little bit of the antique linen just to start. I'm just going to put down the little bit of this. Thought we'd do a vertical piece today because we haven't done that in a while. And I'm going to take a stamp and we're just going to press into the paper just a little bit just to give it a little texture. And that's it. So let's lay our paper down, smooth it out. Whoa. Slippery. And there you have our first areas of ink. Let's continue. I'm going to do another layer of that over top. Maybe a smoother layer so we can just do a I'm going to brayer that out a little bit. A layer. Okay. So I want to lay down this piece of collage paper that I jelly printed on medical exam paper. I need to fix the shape a little bit. Okay, we're going to lay down a layer of acrylic medium. I'm using matte medium. You can use gel medium, whatever you'd like. I'm going to wet down the paper with some water. That's going to give us more transparency, which we love. Smooth it out. Oh, come back. And then another layer of gel medium on top. Just to seal it in. Make sure everything's yeah, that's a really nice paper. I like that. I have a little bit of it left. Okay. Okay, so I cut it off here on the side because I wanted it to be a more like rock formation kind of shape. So let's put down some acrylic medium. Make sure we get enough on there. Spray it down with some water. I kind of just want it to be like slightly above. That's a fun shape. I like that sparkle that it adds to it too. The matte medium might dull that a little bit. Just thought about that, but that's okay. We will roll with it. Okay. So I'm going to give this a quick dry and then we're going to come back and maybe add some more distressed oxide. So I think I want to add like another color right through here. So let's put this over top so we can see what we're doing. We'll make some. Um, Add some paper mask. 
we get it where we want it to be. So I kind of just want to add it right through here. I need to remember to reverse it. <laughs> so I just kind of want it to be like right there. So I'm going to put it like over here. And then maybe like a, what's that? Oh, that probably works. We'll see how that works. I'm going to use the uh, oh, Graham Spencer or Walnut. Oh, so many decisions. I think I'm going to use a Walnut. It's a little darker. This already has a lot of texture when you put it on. But I'm going to add a little bit of this meshy texture just right here at the bottom parts. I know it's hard to see. This is the fun part about working with the distressed inks on the jelly plate. It's like, ooh, what's going to happen? Ooh, that's fun. Okay, let's flip this over. And I'm okay if it overlaps a little bit. I kind of want it to overlap a little bit. Ooh, that's fun. Look at that. It's going to make a cool color. My Baron. I do have a plastic sheet here on my jelly plate that lets me smooth it out a little easier. Ooh, that's fun. I like that color that it made through here. Um, so there's a little bit of this orange color here. I've got this ink, the spiced marmalade that I've never used before. It came in one of the packs. I'm thinking if I did it this way, it might be kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little mask here out of deli paper. Um, I kind of want it to just to come up through here and maybe overlap just a little bit here. Um, kind of wanted to I'll just make it come down. I know it seems like an odd shape, but I think that's going to be really fun to like bring everything together. And we could even move it over a little bit, but I think I like it right here with that little orange. Okay, so let's, let's oh, that's really bright. <laughs> we'll see how orangey it is. It might be, too, yeah, that might be too much. I don't know. Well, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty bright. But again, it might, I haven't, maybe it's just a little. Let's see. Oh, I think that's going to work out okay. Do I want to, I want to add some texture to it. Add a little bit of this stencil here. Just give it a bit of texture, maybe. And so I flipped over my paper so that when I flip it back, it's going to be in the right way. And that's the benefit of using stencils is that you can be more precise with how you're laying your color down. Because trust me, I get confused. I'm like, is it the right way? Okay, that orange is not the same. I can already tell. But... Ooh, that's fun. It's almost like a rust. Why does everything look rust? Weird. It's almost like a rust color through there, which I don't, I, I do like. Okay, I'm going to come in with a bit of this uh, vintage photo. I've cut out another deli uh, paper mask and I put a stencil down in there. This stuff gets everywhere, so that's why I'm kind of covering it up. I've learned that it's important to cover it up because it will go everywhere. <laughs> There's no controlling it. Okay. And we don't want, at least I don't want on this. Oh, that's going to be kind of fun. I'm going to add that somewhere. Okay. That turned out great. I like how that line there. 
Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this other stuff down here. Maybe a bit up here. Just so some spots. And what about this? Like that could be somewhere. Where could we put that? I feel like maybe, let's see how it looks down here. This is kind of lines. Oh, we'll see. Ooh, that's fun. There's still a little bit more on there. Ooh, dragging the cross looks good. That was fun. With that mark, that was fun. We'll do more of that. Almost like painting it in. That did something. I don't like it. Let's come in for a bit of a close up because we haven't done that in a while. Let's see what we've got going on here. I really like this grayish color over here. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to add more of that in. But I'm liking the textures we've got going on. So I'm trying to keep it. I think we're going to need some. I think I have a crayon that's, or a Lyra that's that color. Hmm. Okay, so I've rolled out a little bit of this parchment from Liquitex. I'm going to take this piece of, what did we decide this was? Drywall tape. And I'm going to, I'm just going to roll some out. Speed on there. And then I'm just going to press it down here. And you can't really see it. <laughs> Maybe this side. I just kind of wanted to bring some light areas back in. Um, what if we did skinny brayer? So I don't want it to get in between those lines, but ooh, that's fun. I just kind of wanted to add some light back into it just a little bit just a tiny bit and that's what we're getting <laughs> a tiny bit oh my this is really cool though hmm now i'm thinking that's pretty cool okay what if we change our plan what if we I'll take some of this off. I'm thinking, what if I just laid that down? I'm going to let it dry and add some gel medium to it, maybe. That seems pretty sticky. Okay. Let's let it dry on there. And then I think I'm just going to put it down here. Because I already got the texture there. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... Add a bit of gel medium here. Or matte medium, sorry. I keep calling it gel medium, but you guys probably know what I mean by now. Hopefully. Just going to brayer that out a little bit. Have a little bit of that color on there. Okay, so I want to put it down. And now I'm not so sure. Maybe do I want less of it? You know what? I'm just going to print it off a little bit. And if it goes off the side of the page, then that's where it's going to go. Okay. I didn't really like that solid shape. This is what we call a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. When you're doing something and it's not quite working, so you just go with it. Um, that didn't print as well as I thought it was going to. I still got some left. I'm going to turn it up from this way. Let's just see if we can get some of that off. Flip it over. A 
let's see what we get. Yeah, that didn't work so great. But I think we still got some good marks out of it. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Okay, so I found this just little bit of blue. It's like a gray paper. I think it's one of the the uh, shades of gray set. I think it's the cool gray. And I just want to add, because we have some of these shapes down here. So I kind of wanted to just add in a different color up here to bring the eye up a little bit. It's feeling very brown. I have nothing against brown, but it's always nice, nice to add in some difference. And so I want it to be, I want some tension between these shapes. I don't know why that's yellow. Oh, there's yellow on my fingers. <laughs> okay, well, that's what that's gonna be. What's it on here? I'm really bad about cleaning my tools, so don't get on me in the comments, please. That's just who I am. I'm a maker, I'm not a perfectionist. I just make things. Um, I'm gonna add another little piece, I think right through here. Yeah, I think right through there. Let me get that wet. Okay. I'm just gonna lay it down so it kind of overlaps a little bit. And then another last little bit of gel medium. It is yellow. Maybe it'll dry flatter. Okay, I think I like that. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the Mars Black the dry brush, Mars Black from Liquitex. Very dry brush. <laughs> it's an extremely dry brush. Um, this is one of the stencils that our lovely friend Sherry sent me. I kind of want to just add. Some marks through there. I'm gonna add in more of the distressed or the vintage photo, maybe. Oh, it doesn't like to spray that way. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. Picked up all the mess. Picked up all the mess. That's what I added before kind of faded a little bit. And I kind of wanted more of it because I like these shapes a lot. I think what happened was I picked it up and sort of messed it up, but I'm gonna keep adding. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Um, a little bit here. And I think we need some like turquoise colors and I want to use a little bit of the carbon paper. It's another little square stencil. I thought it might be fun to kind of add in some of the scratchy grungy texture. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. Okay, I'm getting a little carried away. But, you know, that's what I do. Just so add a few over here. Not a lot. So I've taken this Lyra um, water pastel or oil pastel. It's water. This is blue green. Um, I'm just going to lay down some color over here on the deli paper. Add some water to it. And go through this stencil. And see if we can. Oh, that didn't really work. 
but that's okay. Okay, let's continue on. I'm gonna keep putting this color down and dabbing it away. Maybe we should just... Using this water pen. I kinda wanna just add a little bit of that color to sort of emulate the rust. But I don't, I just want it to be real subtle. It should be fine through here. Oops, I just spritzed everywhere. Just a little bit of that color. I've also got this burnt okra, which might be kind of fun. I'm kind of just thinking about adding some texture. And some lines, maybe. If I add a little bit of that color in there, too. Okay, I kind of like that. I don't really like that. There. So we've got this line coming right through here. I'm going to add to that, hopefully. Carbon paper. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's really thin. <laughs> I don't mind it though. I don't mind that it's thin. What happens if we take the carbon paper and scrape this way? What do we get then? Oh, that's fun. Okay, I like that. Get that in there again. I love this carbon paper. Fun. Let's do another one of those marks through there. Kind of liking these thin marks. That's a good one. It kind of just adds something. I don't, I'm not quite sure why I like it. Let's do another one going this way. Just gonna add a few more lines through here. Ooh, that's really fun. That was a fun mark. So I made these sort of scribbly marks through here. Some lines. Um, might need one more line coming through here. Kind of break that up. That shape got a little away from me. It's looking very V-like. I like the lines. I'm gonna add something to it. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this. Um, let's put a mat on it and see what we like about it. Okay, here it is with a mat. Um, I like it. Back to the grungy, grungy effect. I think the turquoise really added something. I like the carbon lines. I probably could do a whole drawing with carbon lines. I made some, <laughs> I got some carbon mess up there, but whatever. Um, I think the stencils are fun. I like the oxide, although it keeps fading, which I don't like, but what are you gonna do? Um, I could probably go over with some black dots, but I think these work really well. And I like these lines through here. All in all, um, I think the collage pieces are good. I think it's a good way to start. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the image transfer course that I have linked on my bio. And I'll leave a link in here too. And I will see you in a few days with another video. Thanks so much. Bye.